Developing this morning, the founder of cryptocurrency firm FTX has been arrested in the Bahamas just hours before he was supposed to testify before Congress today. 30-year-old Sam Bankman-Fried was once considered crypto's golden boy, but his firm lost billions and now critics say it was nothing more than a digital Ponzi scheme. ABC's Morgan Norwood has the latest. This morning, the founder of the now bankrupt cryptocurrency trading firm FTX, once valued at $32 billion, is in custody in the Bahamas. Sam Bankman Freed arrested at the request of the U.S. government. The charges not being unveiled until later today, but a source says the 30 year old faces a multi count fraud indictment. This is a whole new kind of scheme. They were looking at Sam Bankman Freed's use of customer funds from FTX to satisfy orders from Alameda Research, which was the trading firm that he founded. After the alleged misappropriation was reported last month, customers rushed to withdraw their money, causing FTX to implode after it was unable to recover the withdrawals. The company short billions of dollars. Our George Stephanopoulos sat down with Bankman Freed last month after the stunning collapse. Carolyn Ellison said that you all knew that these funds were used, were put into Alameda. They were the funds owned by your depositors. So I can't speak for who knew what. Are you worried about going to jail? Well, I'm trying to focus on what I can do going forward to be helpful and, you know, let whatever you know regulatory and legal processes are happening play out as they will. Bankman Freed's downfall has been swift. Once the poster boy for cryptocurrency, his company spending hundreds of millions on stadium naming rights, luxury beachfront properties, and celebrity endorsements. You just need FTX. And even a Super Bowl ad where Larry David sarcastically advised people not to use FTX. It's a safe and easy way to get into crypto. Yeah, I don't think so. Bankman Freed was scheduled to testify before Congress today, but that appearance has now been canceled. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York.